you're watching this video because you are a media buyer or a brand owner and you're wondering how the hell do i prep for black friday cyber monday 2020 in the clusterfuck that is the pandemic election year well hate to break it to you but number one the holiday season has already begun which is very on brand for 2020 considering it is only september at this point but yes many vendors and brands are actually acting as if this cyber season has begun as early as labor day so if you haven't really given and thought to your Black Friday, Cyber Monday offers or calendars, you are way behind. So in this video, I am going to share with you my number one tactical tip for surviving and thriving during cyber season 2020. And it is not going to be some BS tip about planning ahead. It is a real tactical tip that I am sharing with my clients this year and really how I'm guiding their paid social media strategies. But before we dive in, I want to talk about why this year is so different and why it's going to be affecting your marketing strategy for the rest of the year. So these are the things that are true for Black Friday, Cyber Monday 2020. Number one, the holiday season has already begun. And number two, they say this every year, this is going to be the biggest Black Friday, Cyber Monday ever. But I actually think it might be the biggest year for the next two to three years. And this is why. Here's a really fancy chart that I will be um, linking below, but it shows the retail e-commerce sales worldwide from 2014 to 2023. So this chart was creating in 2019. So everything from 2020 and beyond is actually a prediction. And really what's happening from 2014 to 2019, we're seeing year over year growth in retail e-commerce sales worldwide from anywhere from about six to 12%. Now, when we're looking at 2020 and what has already happened in terms of retail spending, we're actually seeing this 2020 number being not 12% higher as it is shown in this graph, but 30% higher, which is twice as big. And um, we haven't even hit really the core of the cyber season yet. So this number is gonna get even bigger. And you know, another reason why I think that um, it might be the biggest season for the next two to three years is because in-person offers are largely canceled. Retailers like Walmart, Best Buy, and even American Eagle have said that, you know, they're not going to be doing in-store offers. Um, so in addition to this kind of like screwing with this data, it's also um, going to be like a lot more competitive on paid social. Um, and also let's not forget because it really wouldn't be 2020 without, you know, just an extra dash of madness. It's also an election year in the U.S. So um, yeah, some people like think that that increases CPMs, but it definitely increases emotions. So that's just another thing to consider. So here, here is my number one piece of tactical advice, and that is to diversify. I know, cue the eye rolls, but no, I'm not going to leave you hang there with some, you know, false carrot of success. I am going to tell you exactly what I mean to diversify. So number one, you need to diversify your platforms. Facebook and Instagram plus some form of email marketing is not going to cut it this year. Number two, you need to diversify your content because honestly, you do not have a shot in hell if you do not put a lot of thought into your creative and diversify the way that you're making your offer known to your audience. And number three, you need to diversify your offers because you're up against a much longer cyber season this year. And now I'm going to go exactly how I'm doing all three for my clients this year. So number one, diversify your platforms. So the e e-commerce road to success has always been some combination of press plus paid media and dope email marketing. And for the paid advertising side, we're mostly thinking Facebook and Instagram and, uh, you know, some combination of Google. So the two things I have in my back pocket this year for the holiday season is both SMS marketing and Snapchat. And first I'm going to talk about SMS because I'm really pumped about that for a few reasons. So number one, last year over 400 million emails were sent during Cyber Week. Like, what? <laughs> so in order to cut through all that noise this year, which is definitely going to be bigger because of COVID, because of the election, you're going to really need to stand out. And SMS is a great way to do that because 90% of text messages are open within the first three minutes. So an SMS strategy is really crucial for my clients, particularly in retargeting, where we're going to be able to feature their offers and making sure that it's actually getting in front of their audience. So here's my special tip for segmenting your SMS list. Number one, you wanna have a special message slash offer for people who've already bought from you so that you know they can buy another product or so that you can have a different offer from them. Number two, you're gonna to wanna to have a special offer slash messaging for people who've added to cart and abandoned within the last 90 days. Those are people who are definitely 
definitely know who you are, are definitely interested in your brand, but for whatever reason, couldn't quite make it over that commitment to purchase. And number three, you've got to have an offer and messaging for the rest of your email list, because if you're not going to reach out to them on Black Friday, Cyber Monday, what are you even doing? So now I want to talk a little bit about Snapchat. Now I get pushback on Snapchat all the time. And frankly, if you are an advertiser advertising a product on Facebook or Instagram and you have not considered Snapchat, that is pure negligence on your part. And here's why. It's not all just teenagers sending pictures of themselves with a puppy dog face. More than 50% of people who are on Snapchat are 25 and up with actual real buying power. And number two, ads are a lot cheaper on Snapchat. And like I said, we are going in to the biggest holiday season the world has ever seen. Plus we're going to election year that has all of our emotions running high and frankly our CPMs. So CPMs are a lot cheaper on Snapchat. And if you have a product where it's going to be, you know, a good fit for that, you need to test that out now so that you can have that as a part of your long-term Black Friday, Cyber Monday strategy. And yes, Snapchat has lookalike targeting. And to be honest, I actually think it's a little bit better than Facebook's. Another dope thing about Snapchat is you don't have to create new content for it. If you already have Instagram stories content or mobile first video, you are definitely able to use that on Snapchat so you don't have to worry about you know creating new formats or anything. Just don't complicate this. <laughs> and here's my little secret insight about both Snapchat and SMS. They work great apart but they work even better together. The combination of both SMS and Snapchat is what took one of my clients this year during COVID from 80k monthly reoccurring revenue to 500k reoccurring revenue. So this stuff really works and you got to check it out. And number to diversify your content. So I'm really passionate about teaching um, other media buyers as well as my clients how to develop their own creative that converts on social media. And this holiday season, you need to diversify your content because they're gonna be more competition than ever. And like I've said in the past, your creative is the number one factor in determining your success on paid social. So do not just make one Canva graphic with a 25% off discount and call it a day. It's not gonna work this time. And here's my advice for you. I would actually come up with at least three different kinds of formats for your Black Friday, Cyber Monday offer ads. And one should be UGC or user generated content. This could, you could consider a mashup style, which has, you know, multiple forms of UGC woven through in a story format, or you could do like one more review testimonial base. And another one I'm gonna suggest to you is gonna be kind of surprising. I'm gonna suggest either doing like a single image or a carousel option. Even though it's definitely videos moment, I still see these formats working really well on my clients. And I would just have it as an option in your creative arsenal. And another one is to use a gift or a slideshow to feature your offer. Now, if you wanted to create a Canva offer but add some movement in terms of text or, you know, flying in and out, whatever, I think that using a GIF or slideshow would be a better way to stand out than just doing a boring, um, straight image shot of a camera graphic. I just, nothing irks me more. <laughs> and also like, don't forget to make these all mobile first creative. So that means that they're gonna be viewed on mobile. They're gonna be five to 15 seconds long. You have to have your logo shown within the first five seconds made for the sound off. So if you are having like a testimonial UGC video, be sure to put subtitles and headlines on that. Um, and we're also looking for either portrait shot or square format. Um, and also don't forget for your videos, try to have a quick or fast edit because that is going to be something that's going to help stop the scroll. And number three, diversify your offer. Now this does not just mean to include a 25% off option plus a $100 off option. <laughs> what I actually mean here is to consider that it is a much longer holiday season and consider a more calendar based approach to having multiple offers throughout the rest of the year. So like I said, this year is going to be extended and many people actually believe that it is already cyber season. And this is because a lot of consumers are already preemptively deciding what they're going to buy during these cyber week offers. And some retailers are actually announcing that they're going to be doing these offers more in October, like Best Buy, which means that there's going to be higher advertising prices and a lot more competition. And the big question I have to ask is, you know, if your competitors are already starting some of their offers in October, then why would someone else buy from you? So what I would do is I would actually create a, you know, a calendar of offers that's going to be extended through the rest of the year. And some offers that I would explore is not just those, you know, sexy discounts. I would also, you know, maybe do discounts based on certain products, which can be held on different days or different weeks. 
So you could also do a last chance offer for shipping so that, you know, the people who buy it can make sure that the product actually gets there before the holidays. That's like a really easy one to just put at the end of your calendar so that, um, you know, you can fill everything else in between or before that. Um, another offer I like to do is buy one, get one, pretty simple. You can also do special bundles, new product offering if you have a new product coming out from now until the end of the year. You can also have a percentage of your, your purchase or the revenue be donated to a cause that's important to your brand's values. Additionally, I think that, um, you know, a special gift with purchase is always kind of fun too. So that's just a few different offers that you can um, test out, but I would definitely try, you know, extending your calendar beyond the traditional um, Black Friday and Cyber Monday and Cyber Week and see what else that you can do to make sure that your brand is at the top of mind when your customers are seeing all these other great offers on the table from other brands. Okay, and that's it. Um, for the next few videos, I'm definitely going to be concentrating on creative for you guys um, as we prep for, you know, the upcoming holidays. And I am also planning during Black Friday, Cyber Monday to be posting my favorite ads that I see and my least favorite ads on my Twitter account. So be sure to follow me there. And as always, if you guys see a dope ad, be sure to tweet it at me or put it in the comments. And also hit me up and let me know what you guys are doing for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Um, this year is completely different. And even though I'm an expert, I work on a team of experts, we're all just winging it because this is crazy shit. So um, anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye.